purpose. Now, we have different values, but you know, to see? them, 20000 that's it's a lot. They don't want to risk it, so they created a Wyoming LLC. So we create the Wyoming LLC. You're the member of your LLC down here. And by putting these assets into it, you have complete control over them. But the reason we're choosing Wyoming is because if you get sued personally, personally, I want to ensure that a creditor cannot get a judgment against you, get up here and get into these assets. Now, Wyoming is one of just a handful of states that provide the ultimate protection by ensuring that if you get a judgment, somebody sues you, they're not able to get into your assets. And those, what, what am I referring to here is what's called charging order protections. Okay. Three simple words that are crucial. Now, not only do you have to have charging order protections, because if you live in Oregon, you're going to say, well, I read the statute. It says I have charging order protections. Yeah, but Oregon also allows you to foreclose. So, so they're nullified based upon their own statute, like California. You have to have a state where it states that the charging order protections are the sole and exclusive remedy. That's why we set these things up for these assets. You know, when I talked to you about some clients that have been sued before and they walked away, didn't have to pay a dime, this is what they did. Now, so not only do you, so what does that mean? That means if somebody sues me and they get a judgment against me and they say, oh, you owe me a million dollars. And inside of this entity right here, I have, say, a million dollars. They can't touch those assets. I own them still. They're still mine. I still control the entity. They can't take the entity from me. 